hello guys today i'm going to start a new uh, tutorial series on how, uh, how to create an animal ai using this ostrich character so let's start our first episode let's create ostrich uh, basic movements with uh, ai behavior trees in this uh, episode so let's start first i'm going to delete these measures in the world uh, and create a landscape for the testing and let's add the landscape for the level <coughs> uh, let's create a, a new folder for our project uh, I rename it as a speech AI tutorial uh, sorry, uh, it should be tutorial and then let's create a folder for blueprints and let's create a character blueprint for our ostrich like bp ostrich and I have imported this uh, ostrich asset pack to the, our project. Uh, I downloaded the ostrich uh, asset from uh, this asset pack. It's from the it's the name is Medu Ostrich uh, from the Medu characters, and I have imported this asset pack to our project. And in our character blueprint, let's import the ostrich mesh to as our mesh and we should uh, make our ostrich forward vector to uh, match with this uh, blue arrow uh, let's go to top view and rotate it and let's make it a uh, height like here yeah and In here, <coughs> let's create another folder for animations, and we need to create a blend space for our ostrich. And let's create a blend space from our ostrich skeleton. ESP ostrich local motion and in the vertical axis I rename it as forward speed and the horizontal I add right to speed uh, we need to add the blend space uh, weight to speed for to make animation blending smoothly I will add a value as 5 and as the forward speed the maximum uh, axis should be like 600 and the right speed should be like uh, minus 100 to 100 I'll uh, make this grid division as 6 so let's add idle animation from here If you don't know how to place the correct position uh, first uh, drag and drop your animation and hold down your shift key so it will auto uh, arrange its uh, position uh, I delete this and I need to add the walking animation to here The value should be like uh, 180 and then let's add run animation yeah so that's fine and let's create a 
animation blueprint to our speech I will rename this as ABP Ostrich and let's create add the state machine Ostrich state and let's add the state like uh, locomotion and then in here let's add this ostrich dsp uh, ostrich locomotion to here let's promote this forward the speed then right to speed and in the event graph let's calculate the forward to speed and right to speed from here <coughs> So let's get uh, velocity and get vector forward vector <coughs> and get vector right vector. Let's get the dot product from the velocity and forward vector. Let's uh, set the forward speed from the dot product of velocity and the forward vector and set the right to speed from here. And let's assign this anim class ABPO stitch anim. yeah now let's create an AI blueprint for our street uh, AI controller yeah I'll take this AI controller blueprint for our AI blueprint I'll rename this as AI street and we need a uh, behavior tree and blackboard I will rename this behavior tree as bt ostrich <coughs> and the blackboard as bb ostrich and let's assign this ai class to our ostrich let's switch here and here we need to add AI use treat and then in the AI class <coughs> uh, as the event begin play we need to run behavior tree the behavior tree as it is this uh, BT was treat we have created before and the behavior tree let's add the sequence to our basic movements our blackboard uh, let's add this maybe use pitch and the behavior tree <coughs> mm. let's add the task uh, let's create a new folder for tasks and here let's uh, rename our task as btt uh, tree movement in here we need to add the node of uh, event receive execute ai so as the free, free working uh, so let's add the ai move to node from this control phone so 
sorry uh, let's add AI move to here the pawn should be this controlled pawn and the at the destination let's add the node uh, let's find the uh, reachable point uh, the origin should be uh, from our control phone location. I will get this as uh, get that uh, location uh, and I will add the radius as 1000 and connect this to here. The acceptance radius uh, should be like 5 is okay. And when it's on success, let's add the finish execute node it's up and on fail also let's add the finish execute node it's success so it will call this vtt free movement and when he reach his location let's uh, add the weight node like one the random deviation should be like 3.5 or something so let's check how strict is working or not uh, first we should uh, place now mesh bounce volume to our world let's uh, resize it like this by pressing P key so he can uh, move around this green area so let's set our switch to here and test he is working on it actually he is running so let's uh, reduce his speed to like uh, maximum work speed should be like 180 yeah he is now working but he is not uh, rotating smoothly so let's fix it uh, in our strict blueprint uh, let's search our rotation so uh, we need to untick this use controller rotation view because we don't have a controller and in the character movement uh, as rotation uh, we should uh, enable this orient rotation to movement so let's check our switch is moving smoothly yeah Now he is uh, walking and rotating correctly. I'm not sure this blend space is working. No, tweet the speed should be five. Yeah, uh, he is uh, changing his animation smoothly. Okay guys, I am going to stop the episode here. So in this episode, we, uh, we have created the basic movement of this ostrich using a behavior tree. Uh, in the next episode, uh, let's create uh, some functions for eating and sleeping. Okay guys, so I will end the episode. Thank you all.